Om Maha Ganapataye Namaha. In this video, I'm going to share some insights, secrets, and information around the concept of time equals money. Now, a lot of this comes from Dr. Pillai, and if you aren't familiar with his teachings on time, which he has a lot of teachings on time, you can find free on YouTube. Also, he has Timeline Jumping Program, which I have taken personally. Go and look at those teachings because they will change the way you think. And the idea here is by bringing certain concepts into your awareness, you can get that information and manifest that information. Because after all, what you've created is, some, is simply the information that you have identified with, the information that you have stored and are identifying with and manifesting. So time and money. Let me give you an example and why, what inspired me to make this video. So I started my day very, very early as usual. And I started my actual work for my job, which I work online from home, around 9 a.m. today. And I worked until around 5.40, 5.45. I did take a little bit of time for lunch, but mo mostly I worked straight through the entire day today. And at the end of my day, although I've, I've heard time and time again from Dr. Pai about time and money and all, all the relationship between time and money and valuing time, but for some reason, Today, it really occurred to me, I had a, an experiential epiphany, if you will, of saying, oh my God, I just worked for, say, around seven, eight hours today, give or take. And I'm only making, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars, give or take, off of that time. Some people are working for a few hours and making several million dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars. And how can I use make my time so that every second that I am dedicating because I it wasn't just arbitrary time I put in a lot of effort and a lot of energy into what I do I, it's not I don't I'm not half half asking it as they say so for me personally I'm, I'm thinking to myself well if I'm going to put in energy and effort to something that should be very very productive and very very valuable the return should be extraordinarily high it's a very interesting concept that came in, and I have to attribute it to working with Shreem Brzee. Because as Dr. Ply talks about, Shreem Brzee will change the way you think. It reorganizes your brain. It's also pulling archetypal intelligence in from your unconscious, which is a perfected personification of wealth superintelligence. How to make money. Not just money, but also the wealth of health relationship. It's a way of thinking. It's a, it's a positivity, a certain positivity, a certain creativity. Where thoughts like this, where, where, where up until now, you know, I've been working for how many years? I'm, I'm around, this body's around 37 years old. And it only occurred to me now, today, well, I've heard it a million times, so to speak. Today was a day that I finally said, oh my God, my time. How am I using my time? Can I, how can I make my time more valuable? So I'm putting in eight hours. I shouldn't be making several hundred dollars. I should be making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, for every eight hours I'm putting in, or, or whatever, making my time more valuable. Now, what is time? To help you understand how, and I am going to share in this video how you can increase the value of your time, something that I'm working on myself. And there are several ways from Dr. Ply. I want to share some ways that I uh, have uh, experience related to and had insights on. So, according to Dr. Ply, the Siddhas and Yogis, time, mind, and money are all synonyms. Particularly here, let's look at and zoom in on time and mind. Time, as we know from, I believe it's particle physics, quantum physics, Einstein, this genre of, of research. Time itself is an illusion, they say. Also, the yogis and the siddhas have also came to that conclusion on their own as well. Scientists are also coming to that conclusion on their own as well. Time is an illusion. Time is a reflection of or a is a direct one-to-one -one correlation with the mind the mind is what is generating the perception of time for example how do you know if you are doing something say you're with friends or you're you're out and you're doing something you absolutely love you're with people you're having this good conversation maybe you're out to dinner and you just have this fantastic conversation with somebody and the time flies or you're on vacation and all of a sudden, four days or five days or a week have gone by like this, 
But then there'll be some instances where say you're doing something you don't enjoy. Maybe you're at a job that you hate. Or maybe you're with somebody who, you know, you're not you're not really enjoying the company of, or whatever the situation is. Maybe you're in a lot of pain. Maybe you got hurt or whatever it is, something that you're not enjoying. Somehow one minute can seem like an hour. Now, is time being lengthened and shortened? No, it's the perception of time. It's directly related to your mind. So the value of your time, so the value of your time translates to the value of your life or how much, if you want to look at it very practically, the amount of money you make, that's why I say time equals money. The value of your time equals the, the return, the profit you're going to get. So the, the idea here is you want to increase the value of your time. In order to do that, you have to develop a valuable relationship with time. You have to develop a positive relationship with time. So in addition to that, there are other ways, which I will get into in a few moments. But let me first dive in a little bit on this developing and uh, maintaining a positive relationship with time. The way that you relate to time, to give you the incentive, the way that you relate to time reflects on the value that your time is going to give you. Now, which is not just money, but it could also be positive things that come into your life where you have good luck, good time, as they say. Things just happen. You're, synch you're having synchronicities all over the place where you're just at the right place at the right time, and you're always there for, for opportunities just keep coming to you. And this is something I've experienced where I'm finding myself in the right place at the right time, having conversations with the right people at the right time, and, and enabling myself or having myself in certain positions to fast-track my success, where I am almost on a direct path like an express elevator to the top where before it was more like a struggle and every day was a crawl I can see myself now on this accelerated path to success where things are happening really fast and this is uh, directly related to my relationship with time which I will have to say on based on my observation my relationship with time is an effect of how my I have been able to change my mind or my mindset or my information. Now you can go and watch my past videos about all that, about the mindset, the information, particle physics, observer theory, and all of that. But I will keep it very brief as working with sound waves, mantras, working with archetypes, any of these things that you're doing to improve the quality of your mind, particularly with sound waves, mantras, particularly with the mantra Shreem Brzee, and also with Ganesha's mantra. I've been working also with Ganapati. Ganapati and Srimbrazi have been my two primary ones, in addition to a couple other ones, but those have been my, my main focus. And those archetypal intelligences are putting me on a sort of autopilot, where it's not that I have to struggle and I have to try and force myself to be aligned with time and use my time wisely. It's almost as if I am compelled, as if I am on autopilot, where I'm having the right ideas to do the right things, and I'm naturally inclined to do them, as opposed to being lethargic, as opposed to um, a resistance or a dissonance. I'm finding myself naturally flowing down a different river, whereas, as opposed to flowing down the river of karma, which is a, a destiny or destination of mediocrity in the same, whatever my givens were. I have now almost as if I'm on a new river, where I'm simply floating with the current, and I'm ending up at, at the places that I want to go. I'm ending up with a success. So your relationship with time is a manifestation or a reflection of your mind. Now, positive relationship with time, or let me just go into a negative relationship with time to give you an idea of, of what you may be doing and how to avoid it in case you aren't and to what, what to look out for. They have this thing about you don't want to insult time. Because time is also an intelligence as well. There are archetypes that rule over time. Ganapati is one of those archetypes, also Kala Bhairava. So when you're insulting time, you're insulting the, your value. You're insulting your self-worth. You're insulting your consciousness. Insulting time means being lazy, being lethargic, um, allowing yourself to, say, watch TV for six hours a day, or... or um, Doing things that aren't productive or aren't beneficial to your growth. Focusing too much on entertainment and not enough on uh, growth. 
because you, you, there's a balance that you need to maintain where you don't want to go all the way in. You can, and absolutely, that's, there are ways, in fact, i found that you can blend the two, where you can mix the entertainment and the self-growth, which I do particularly with um, learning. I have a passion for learning on certain subjects that I find to be very entertaining. But I also do give myself time to do some sort of, you know, basic entertainment, which is um, not so much learning, but just more of uh, what I position it as is manifestation. So sometimes I will watch videos about people that are wealthy. And what I like to do is uh, position my mind, or, the, or it's about cars, about houses, that I, I take it in as this is what I want to manifest. And I'm using it to some, even, even that entertainment is a way to improve myself. So not insulting time means using time wisely. It means using time in a productive way. You can do that also in entertainment. You can also do that with your work. And the idea here is to make your work something that is not something that you have to stop your life, go to work, and then pick up your life after you get back. The idea here is to do something you're passionate about. And if you're not doing that, you have to make that a number one priority to manifest that. Because the amount of time that you use and effort and energy that goes into your work is the majority of your life outside of sleep, isn't it? So I've talked to my parents the other day, and one of the things they were talking about is it's a very it's a big shock going from work to retirement because they've recently retired in the last, I think, year or two. And it's so it's such a shock because you get in this habit of spending your time in a certain way where you wake up, you eat your breakfast, you go to work and you spend your old day at work. After you get back from work, you're usually complaining about work, all the problems you had, the people you had to deal with, and all that crap. And then you go in and you go and distract yourself with TV entertainment because you're so miserable because you have to you have to do all the stuff you don't like, and then you have to do it, go do it again tomorrow. And then you spend your weekends catching up on all the chores that you weren't able to do during the week, and then you just create this cycle of misery. And it's so important. So bring that into your awareness and bring that into your manifestation or something you want to create for yourself. So to, to uh, kind of get back, and I diverged a little bit about enhancing your, your mind to create a better relationship with time, so not insulting time, and making your time high value. So the way that I'm manifesting this is, number one, bringing this into my awareness. You have to bring the concept into your awareness because as Dr. Ply says, and the Siddhas teach, you have to, you can't create unless you can conceive. Just like with a baby, you have to conceive first before the baby can be born. You have to be able to conceive, and that means you have to have the concepts, you have to have the information in order to be able to create it. Because what you're creating, after all, is a byproduct or an effect of the information that you're holding on to. So the way to enhance your mind that I'm going to recommend, now this is not limited to this. Any of the mantras that you're getting from a guru that you've gotten uh, from Dr. Ply, or anybody that you are calling as your teacher or guru, if you know my past video, I've talked about a look at the video called The Secret to Mantras. It's very important you don't get your mantra or meditation techniques or any of that from books, from magazines, from unenlightened people. The meditations and the mantras are as powerful as the person who gives them to you. And ideally, you want to get them from a set guru, a set guru or somebody who has mastered, who owns that mantra, who has the power and has been invested with the authority to give that mantra to others because these mantras are not just sound waves, they're not just words, they're not just sounds. They are living beings. They are alive and they have archetypes behind them and not just anybody is allowed to use them. You have to get a certain permission. And this is why the gurus are so very important because they are the ones, the boots on the ground, if you will, who are acting as representatives of the divine beings and the divine in general to facilitate an interaction and a connection and a relationship and interaction with us. So get your mantra from the guru and use any mantra. I will recommend a couple mantras here. The most number one I would say probably is Shreem Brzee. Shreem Brzee is a mantra that will give you the highest relationship with time because Shreem Brzee represents the ultimate in wealth consciousness. Consciousness meaning not a, not a new age term consciousness, this, the, the the uh, state of being conscious, as opposed to being knocked out or sleeping, which is an unconscious state, the state of being conscious, awake, aware, identified. The highest identity with wealth is Shreem Brzee. So Shreem Brzee, when you're using the sound, it will reshape your brain, it will reorganize your brain. It will allow you to perceive and conceive of 
outrageous thoughts that are outside of your current paradigm, such as the example I gave previously of me having an epiphany of how I've been spending my time and how much room I have to grow in that, in that area. And then if I'm working for eight hours, I should be getting paid thousands of dollars. Before that, I didn't have that concept. I didn't, that wasn't part of me, and many people don't, and that's why they end up getting trapped and working their entire life, getting paid uh, peanuts, if you will. Those who have been able to achieve the success, those who have come pre-wired that way, are those who have had these concepts before and have been working on this for lifetimes. In the case of Bill Gates, for example, Dr. Ply has talked about that Bill Gates, according to naughty readings, naughty readings are oracle readings that are uh, given through uh, certain people who have uh, a lineage that is uh, from enlightened masters, gurus. And according to these naughty readings, Bill Gates spent somewhere around seven lifetimes focusing on wealth, focusing on particularly the archetype Lakshmi. And that, and finally in this life, it culminated, he, he was focusing on, he wanted to be the richest man in the world. And in this lifetime, it finally culminated and manifested where they said, here it is. Now he gets to be the richest man in the world, or at least he was for a very long time. And so similarly, all these guys and women have been focusing on this for a long, long, long time. And not that you have to wait lifetimes, you can do it now. It's a matter of your commitment and a matter of your focus. So this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to end it here and wrap up by saying your mind is a, your time is a reflection of your mind and your money, the value of your time. Because after all, everyone's getting paid for their time. You're, you're getting paid based on your time. Your money is a reflection of your time, and your time is a reflection of your mind. So go to the mind and fix your mind, and everything else will correct itself, correct itself. Particularly working with archetypes will put you on an archetypal autopilot, where you start thinking like the archetype, even if it's in a, a, a beginning form, such as having thoughts like I mentioned. Although I'm not to the point where I'm able to conceive of, say, $80 billion dollars, I am getting there. It's a process of unfoldment. It's a process of development. And it's happening. So I'm starting to think like the archetypes. This is what happens. This is the ultimate purpose or goal of working with a mantra or working with an archetype. It is to become an, what Dr. Ply and the yogis talk about is swallow that archetype. Swallow that archetype means you get their power and you get their intelligence. You get the way that they think. You get their abilities to create. You get their ability, their wisdom. All of it is the idea. So it's a process of unfoldment. So use a mantra. I'm recommending the mantra Shreem Brzee. If you want to focus on one, do Shreem Brzee. That'll increase the time to the highest value ultimately. And I will put a link in the description of this video where you can go and receive this mantra from Dr. Ply if you haven't already, who is the only person in the entire world who has been invested with the authority directly from Vishwamitra, who is the yogi who discovered, uh, discovered Brzee. And Dr. Ply collaborated with Vishwamitra and the higher beings to create Shreem Brzee. You have to get this mantra from Dr. Ply, so don't get it from anybody else. Go listen to it in his voice, and that is a, an initiation that allows you to use that mantra and thereby benefit from it. Go look up the meditations. There are also programs available that I recommend. I have been taking the programs, getting fantastic results. Right now I'm in Wealth Activation Formula. Fantastic results. If you have an opportunity to join any group events, group chanting, Highly, highly recommend it. I made a video just a little bit ago about how I manifested a Mercedes-Benz. And I attributed that to Shreem Z, but even more precisely, it was because I was joining a daily group chanting call where we chanted 1,008 times Shreem Z. And over time, that culminated in me manifesting Mercedes-Benz. And that's just the beginning. I am, we're all, we're manifesting more and more and more. It's just the beginning. It's the hole in the dam. So... Use Shreem Brzee, change your mind, change your mindset, change your information, your karma. Watch your time change. Bring into your awareness. Do not insult time. Try to make, look for ways to make your time more productive. And develop a positive relationship with time and thereby benefit with a high value time and therefore a high value life. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment underneath this video. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to click the like button and share it with others who you think would uh, find it useful too. 
And as always, if you'd like to be notified for future videos, click subscribe and the bell notification. God bless and stream Brazil.